Hi, yarn of these. How are you today? <sighs> so today uh, at the market here, we're having a 1920s car show and it's the gangster um, era. Excuse me. So um, the people here got dressed up for it and um, unfortunately it's raining so the classic cars won't be able to come but the people that have the classic cars are coming and they're going to be all dressed up oops I'm knocking stuff over here and uh, so we're doing um, like gift baskets and draws and stuff like that to kind of bring people in so yeah so I got dressed up as you can probably tell I um, <laughs> I, I borrowed uh, George's suit jacket tie and dress shirt and I probably should have tried it on before I brought it to wear because I forgot I have boobage and he doesn't <laughs> but that's okay so I'm wearing leggings and all that and I'll see if I can step back so you guys can see what I look like and I'm wearing high heels you guys I haven't worn high heels in years oh hang on <clears throat> Sporting my pearls. I got my pearls going on and my boutonniere. My oop. So, <laughs> so it's fun. Um, but um, yeah, so it's what time is it now? It's 1.30 now, and everybody from the car show is going to be coming around four o'clock. And then they're going to have a dinner and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So, I'm doing a $50 gift certificate um, for people to win. Uh, for every, anybody that does a purchase in the shop, they get a ticket. So, so far I've got one ticket. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to pick up. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's what we're doing today. Um, maybe I'll be able to get some some videos and shots and stuff um jody oops who's running the show she took a picture of um me omalara miles and angela and uh we'll probably get some other pictures apparently the newspaper's coming <laughs> so um yeah so it should be fun uh so hopefully i'll be able to get some footage of that for you guys so anyway I guess I will talk to you in a bit. Okay. Hi, Yarnabees. <sighs> well, today is a very sad day. Yeah. We have the British shop over here. Oop, right here. <laughs> they're moving. Their shop is closed and they're moving. Oops. They're moving down the street. Mm -hmm. Um, where the heck are they? Ah. Um, and then on the other side of the mall or the market is the Lego store. They're leaving. So, yeah. So two shops are moving out of here. Um, I honestly, I don't blame them because we're having problems with the People, the um, leases of the building so but uh, yeah so that whole outside perimeter of the market <coughs> is going to be bare so we're going to have the core people here that uh, you know and then we've got on the other side we've got um, the second hand clothing store and then the lady that's across where that was in the place that I was going to go into, um, she's going to be leaving in October as well. She's going to stay through October, I think, and then she's going to be leaving. 
So you would think with all these stores leaving the, the market that the owners would kind of give their head to shake and go, what, what's the problem? Well, the problem is them, you know, they're not, um, they're not doing anything for this market, which really ticks everybody off. <clears throat> so, but that's okay because I'm just going to persevere and I've still got, like I've, I've got, I signed a two year lease, right? So I, um, I'm going to be okay. <laughs> I'm happy with my shop. I'm, um, I'm getting more and more customers that are starting to realize I'm here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you guys. Yesterday we did the gangster, 1920s gangster thing, right? I went home. I was driving home and all of a sudden I had an energy crash. Like, serious energy crash. I got home. I went to bed at 9 o'clock and I slept for 10 hours. <sighs> you know, like I, I have these energy crashes every once in a while. I don't know what it is, like what's going on, but... <clears throat> like every once in a while I just I get to the point where I just can't even function so I just have to go to bed do you guys have that you know I don't know if that's a menopause thing or if that's like I don't know but yeah it's like holy like I slept hard so <clears throat> but anyway so what am I doing today I'm working on scrubbies I love this for those that are new hello <laughs> uh, this is the scrubby yarn it's, is it yarn bee yarn bee scrubby yarn um, scrub it scrubology uh, I get some of my some of my besties send this stuff to me and this stuff is the best scrubby yarn I've ever used. Um, you know, we don't get this here. We can't get this here. Uh, it's a place in Ontario. Oh, what's the name of that place? Angela, help me out. Um, oh, God. What's that place in Ontario? Anyway. They have something similar. It's thinner, uh, and it works. It works pretty good, but it's not like this. So, <clears throat> but I love this stuff. I want to try and start bringing it into the shop and selling it here. Um, I don't know if I would. I don't think I would make any money on it though, because by the time I do the Canadian um, currency exchange on it. I don't think I'd be able to sell it for eight dollars a ball or whatever but yeah I don't know we'll figure it out <clears throat> if I brought the other stuff in lens mills is that it um, if I brought it in from them I might be able to sell it here but yeah I've already talked to them they they don't have a real wholesale kind of thing yet but they they said that they would send that to me wholesale which is weird but <clears throat> anyway uh yeah so that's what I'm working on today my hip is really sore it's really bugging me but I'm it is what it is I guess don't fall that's the moral of the story <laughs> don't fall <laughs> oh I this morning I, I felt like today was a pumpkin spice latte day I don't know why but I went to Starbucks and I got myself I spoiled myself and I got myself a pumpkin spice latte I got myself a pumpkin spice um, muffin and I'm wearing my pumpkin spice shirt see so today is oh and Bailey got a puppuccino and I've got a little video clip of that. So I went through 
the Starbucks drive through and I got Bailey a puppuccino and I put it down in the in the cup holder paid the lady and look at this she wouldn't even wait for me she just like I'm gonna just eat it right now and never mind <laughs> Bailey she's like no I'm not having it I'm just gonna see <laughs> what a spoiled brat <laughs> So she was really enjoying her puppuccino. She had it all over her face. <laughs> so she doesn't get them very often, but um, yeah. So so today's a good day. I feel really good. Uh, I'm really happy. Oh, you guys, I wanted to tell you, um, do you guys, I guess, I don't know if you guys remember me talking to you about uh, the fact that um, George and I, we were having problems um, with the banks and we thought we might lose our house and everything and um, we put a proposal up um, to the bank and we just got word that they accepted the proposal. Um, so I am so happy. George is so happy. Uh, the stress is off us now and um, so now we just for the next five years we just make our payments and everything's going to be okay um so i'm really happy about that uh i'm in better spirits now so yeah anyway oh customers i'll talk to you guys in a bit ready hi you are hi you are bees guess what it's me. You haven't seen me in a while. I heard somebody, oh. <laughs> Sue Bigger, uh, commented saying, where have I been? Yeah. <laughs> so um, Sandy's kind of had me locked in a trunk um, <laughs> for the last month or so. No, I've just been busy, been working. Um, the good news is, I mean, I know you guys know everything in the world about us. It's going to get dark here, um, guys, because it's nighttime, so sorry. <laughs> but... Um, my business has actually picked up quite a lot in the last six weeks, so things are definitely looking up. I'm working lots and things are looking better, so that's the good news, but it, it unfortunately means that I can't do as much uh, uh, video stuff with you guys. So our funny story is we're just leaving a restaurant, so my Dragon Boat team had its last practice of the season tonight, and then the last Thursday of every month we would have a pub night. So we just had our pub night, but we went to a different restaurant tonight. So we just came out of the restaurant, everybody's left but us because we were still drinking when everybody left. <laughs> and um, this woman that I don't even- I'm not drinking even, and driving. <laughs> this woman that I don't even know. I don't know who um, this woman was. She walks up to me and nowhere. says, hey, can I come home with you? <laughs> and I'm thinking like, <laughs> wow this shit never used to happen to me before I met Sandy um, and she's going like I can't handle being around my husband I want to come home with you and I'm standing and right there I said there. um I don't think my wife would really understand and then he comes up and goes um we can do like a a key party so if you don't know what a key party is back in the, the swinging days Everybody used to show up um, to the mansion, the mansion where Eyes Wide Shut was filmed, and you put your keys in the bowl, and then you'd close your eyes and pull out a set of keys, and whoever keys you got, that's who your partner was for the night. So I just thought, um, no, I don't think so. So, wow, this... <laughs> Sandy's laughing, but this really happened. I just can't even believe it just happened. And then she comes. Then she comes up and gives Sandy a hug and says, "She's hugging me." Well, I really wanted your man, but you know, I understand. And she's, and she's like, "I'm experimenting." It's like, oh my god! I'm like, who am I hugging right now? So this is what this is why we don't usually go out very much. Um. Oh my god, that was the weirdest shit ever. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. So She was so drunk. And she was an older woman. Well, she was <laughs> probably, I would 
think in her 50s. Oh, she had to have been, you know, in her upper 50s, but... She's either really drunk or I looked exceptionally good tonight. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I was but, the one uh, that she hugged. <laughs> but the, but she wanted me. Her husband was the one that had his arm around you. That's true, and I'm not into that, so... It's like, wow. I'm like, oh my God, this is really happening. <laughs> You know, we live in a fairly small town. It's only about 100,000 people. <laughs> this is not like New York or L.A. or stuff oh where my God. San Francisco. We're She's going to the... wake up tomorrow and go, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was our evening. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> We're going to go home now. I thought we would share just... that with you, so. <laughs> this is why I don't go anywhere. <laughs> However, we're going to get Sandy to come to our awards night. Oh, my God. This so, awards night is a dress-up night. So, normally, at the end of the Dragon Bow season, we have an awards night. And then last year, we just had it at the coach's house. And it was your standard party. Everybody brings a, an appy or something to eat and sit around and you drink and you laugh and you talk. And then they give me all the trophies. And I go, oh. <laughs> Kind of he how it one. usually works. Oh no, he got two. So he got two trophies. Yeah, I got the award for the per perfect attendance. I didn't miss any practices, and <laughs> then I was the MVP, the male MVP for the team. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, which was really nice. Oh, it got so really dark. <laughs> so anyway, so we're gonna we go. do it again, but this time it's different. The coach has actually rented um, a hall yeah. for us to go to. Mm -hmm. So I guess she's expecting more people to come. She's actually, I've, I've heard there's a, there's more awards this year. Oh. So they've added the amount of awards. And she's decided to have a theme, and the theme is Cinderella. Yeah. So either we have to, the girls have to dress up like Cinderella, or our coach is going to be the evil stepmom, and that's a perfect choice for her. Because <laughs> she's a real stern taskmaster. So... I guess I'm going to have to try to find some kind of a, a Prince uh, Charming or Prince costume. I still think you should go as Cinderella's mouse. No, like, I'm not going the as little, the, the little... No! <laughs> I'm not going as the mouse. <laughs> so I'm going to get the Prince costume. I'll have a nice cape and a sword and uh -huh. tights and a really big cod piece. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're yeah. going home now after a fun adventure. So, yeah, I guess we'll talk to you guys later. Somehow she'll edit this into some video about yarn and other stuff, so, I it's guess. It's been a weird few days. It's been <laughs> so, anyways, okay, we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Hey, yarn bees. So, I just got home from work. I look like a hot mess. I know. <clears throat> and, uh. Oh, yeah, I'm not feeling too great. But anyway, um, I totally forgot what I was going to talk to you guys about. I'm really sorry about this setup that I have, like, that I've been have having since forever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, I know this is not the ideal setting to do my videos, but I don't have a yarn room anymore. <laughs> So, there's that. <laughs> um, but anyway, I was driving home and I was trying to think of things I can do to get people in the shop and stuff like that coming up towards Christmas. And I was talking to George on the phone. And I said, you know, <clears throat> for the month of October, what I'm doing is for every $10 spent in store you get a ticket and at the end of the month I'm gonna at the end of October I'm gonna do a draw for a $50 gift certificate to my store and then I started thinking a little bit more and I thought you know about um, like meat draws and all that kind of stuff like the legions do and um, <clears throat> I don't know if they have them down in the States but up here we have a turkey draw and they have these big um, <clears throat> cardboard things that have pictures of turkeys on them. And you buy for two, a toonie, you put your name on a turkey, and um, then they do a draw, and you can get a free turkey. 
or ham or bacon, you know, something like that. And I thought, what? I wonder how you could go about doing that, like something like that, in a store setting. So then I started, George says, well, I says, you know, because Christmas is coming and, you know, it would be nice if I could do a draw for a turkey, you know, but I don't know if how legal that is or if you need to go to the, you know, lottery, parks and game, whatever. I don't know. And he says, well, what if you do a draw for a gift certificate to a butcher shop that's close by your shop? I thought, oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> so there is a butcher shop that is in Duncan, which is about 15 minutes away from my shop. And they've got a fabulous selection of meat. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over there and find out how much, um, like if you can get a, a turkey for like 50 bucks or whatever. And I'll do a $50 gift certificate to that butcher shop. And if you don't want to get a turkey, then they can get whatever they want for 50 bucks, right? So I was thinking, okay, I'm going to do that for November so that if they do get a turkey, then they'll have it for Christmas. And then I thought, well, why don't I do this every month? Why don't I do a draw of the month? And then I can do like a $50 gift card one month or like for a gift card for gas or, you know, I could do a $50 gift certificate to the dollar store or, you know, stuff like that and do, do it every month. And I thought that might work, you know, so for every $10 they spend in my store, they get a, a ticket for the draw. So if you spend $50 in my, in my store, you get five tickets, right? So yeah, so that's what I think I'm going to do. And hopefully that will draw in some business. You know, I could do a $50 gift certificate to the local grocery store. You know, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that would be kind of cool. And then that way I'm not... It's not like I'm selling them anything. They're just buying stuff in my store and getting a ticket. You know, so. <clears throat> um, yeah. So, yeah. I think um, I think that that's a cool idea. So. But, anyway. Um, yeah. I, I guess that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. I think. Um... Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to sign off this video and I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Love you. Bye.